Hello and welcome to this course on SAP REST adapter configuration. I'm Srini, your instructor for this course. This course is about learning how to work with REST adapter in SAP PO, which is Process Orchestration Integration Tool. JSON, REST and API are the buzzwords now in the integration world, which is leaving XML, SOA and web service behind. If you see, there are many integration project requirements now floating around REST API because of increasing adoption on this new REST based API standard. If you are from SAP PO background and interested to learn about what is REST, JSON or API and how to consume and publish API with this SAP PO REST adapter, then this is the right course for you. This course will help you to learn the basics of JSON, REST and API and then I will show you how to configure them in SAP PO tool. This course will not jump directly to the configuration of REST adapter, but this course will help you start with understanding the basics of JSON structure, what is REST, what is API and what is the difference between JSON and XML, how they differentiate. Then you learn about the REST configuration. Finally, we will use step by step sender and receiver adapter settings one by one and then we'll try to build the different five interfaces around it. So if you are completely new to this REST adapter, then you are at the right course. This course is designed for students who want to learn the basics of JSON data format and understand some theory behind API and why it is different from XML and web services. This course will give you complete understanding on theory and hands on within depth knowledge on REST adapter. Let me give you a high level overview on what you will learn in this course. In the JSON section, you will learn about basics of JSON, like why JSON is called as JavaScript object notation, what is the relation of JSON with JavaScript, learn how to write your own JSON structure, compare XML with JSON and understand why JSON is so famous compared to XML, understand JSON syntax, data types, arrays and objects. You will learn lots of practical sessions to define your own JSON structures. Finally, you will learn about some JSON online tools as well. Well, in the REST API section, we'll understand what is services, what is a web service, what is an interface and what is an API. What is the advantage of API over a web service? Then we'll compare web service with API. Then we'll understand what is REST, what is API, what is REST API and what is REST JSON API means. I'll also show you some of the real time REST API examples and how to read the documentation. We'll also see some parts of REST API along with the design guidelines of REST. Then we'll understand what is the API management tools that is available in the market. Well, finally, in the hands-on section, you will learn how to use each of this option in the tools, like complete walkthrough of sender and receiver REST adapter configuration, develop and test interface using sender and receiver adapter, learn how to expose any interface as a in REST API and also how to call any REST API from UDF. Some powerful techniques you will use which you can use it anywhere in your projects. In the end, we will expose an RFC as a REST API. Well, that's a lot to cover in this course. If you are planning to improve your learnings on this new integration design on API and REST, then this course is a right start for you. That will help you become expert in consuming and exposing a REST API with SAP PO tool. I'm really excited to teach you this course on SAP PO REST adapter configuration. Then why wait? Let's start the course.